Hey everyone, um, so this is going to be a bit of an experimental video, so bear with me. Uh, this is the final look, and I'm excited to show you how to get this look. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to first start off by using a Smashbox primer. Um, you can use any kind of primer that you want. Um, yeah, you're just going to... My face got like super close. I told you to bear with me, this is why. Yeah, so you're just gonna take this and spread it all over your face, your beautiful, beautiful face, with your beautiful, beautiful self. So, um, with like all the products, you can use the ki exact kind that I'm using, or you can use whatever you want. Because, uh, yeah, whenever I watch tutorial, I'm like, I'm too poor for that, so I'm just gonna use what I have. Okay, um, so now I'm using an All May foundation. Um, and I am just going to take that and my e.l.f. foundation brush and squirt some foundation onto my hand before just like going ahead and applying it all over my face. That's even closer than before. Congratulations, Haley. You won the getting your face close to the audience award for makeup tutorials uh, this is a NYX concealer and I'm going to disappear before grabbing another elf brush um, concealer brush and uh, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the foundation and just squirt that on there and then cover any noticeable red blemishes that I didn't catch with the foundation. So there we go. Um, uh, yeah, so <laughs> guys, I told you to bear with me and I'm gonna say that about a billion more times. Anyway, I'm taking this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Power, Power Powder, same diff. Um, and then I'm also taking another e.l.f. brush. e.l.f. is great. They're super cheap and they're just like, great brushes. Um, I'm just putting that into the powder, tapping off the excess, and then I'm just gonna like fluff it over my face. Yeah, we'll go with that. Next I'm taking a Wet n Wild nude palette and I am taking this top, oh, pff, with my Daiso brush, my bad, taking the top, um, skin tone color and I'm just gonna put that all over my eye as a base. The Daiso brush uh, was very disappointing actually. I would not recommend getting brushes from Daiso because it didn't really hold any of the pigment and it was very difficult to spread the makeup around with that brush. So yeah. Um, next, I'm taking a super punk eyeshadow palette from Hot Topic and using the white color. And I am just going to take that and apply it to the corners of my eye to open it up a bit more. Uh, next, I'm taking a like this like kind of medium grayish brown color, um, and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid. Next, this sparkly brown, I'm putting that in the crease and kind of winging it out. Um, I also have a blending brush and I'm just going to blend that so that it's less of a harsh line and it kind of looks a little more natural. With Pidge, I feel like looking natural is the key, as natural as possible at least. Uh, then I'm taking like a shimmery kind of like tannish, like a pale tan color and just putting that on my brow bone. Next I'm taking this brow gal palette and I'm going to undo basically what I did um, on the eye. I'm taking this light brown color. Um, if you have more of a reddish wig you might want to do a redder thing. But I'm just thickening up the eyebrow and I have an arch and I'm putting the eyeshadow under the arch to make it look more thick and caterpillary. I assume Pidge doesn't worry about plucking her eyebrows in space, uh, because, yeah, you know, you get me, you get me. Alright, so, 
Now I'm just taking a liquid eyeliner and um, lining the top of my eye. Then from the bottom, I am going up, but not like all the way up, more to the side of my eye. Um, and so like, at least for me it goes down. I don't know if that's normal or not. And then I'm just like connecting the two. You also kind of want to make sure to get that cartoony effect that she has to make the top uh, line a little bit thicker than you might usually do. So next you're going to take um, the like lightest shade in this palette and I'm just going to go across the bridge of my nose to kind of create the illusion of a more buttoned nose. Um, it makes you look really cute and yeah. I'm also going to take this and put it on the sides of my nose which is going to create a thinner bridge. I'm also using an eyebrow palette because I don't have contouring things because I am cheap and I do not want to buy them and this works just fine. I'm taking a light pink blush and just putting that up the top of my nose as a highlighter because it makes you look super cute, cuter than you already are, because y'all are cute. Uh, then I'm taking the, oh, just, uh, just kidding, uh, the pink, same pink, and I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks, which I did not show because my camera cut out, but you all understand what just happened. So I have this, like, mascara primer, which, <laughs> I don't know how, like, what it really does, but I'm using it because I just happen to have it. Um, for unknown reasons, it just appeared one day, but I mean, that's that's all right. Yeah, so if you don't, just like, I guess apply like a little bit more mascara. So this is normal mascara that I'm using right now, and you're just gonna apply that. Figure out what you're gonna do next, because you're a mess, uh, which would be taking um, like a pale pink, almost nude lipstick, and just like putting that on. This is an e.l.f. lipstick, by the way. You can use, again, whatever you desire. Um, next, I'm taking my false eyelashes and putting it on with some black eyelash glue that I found at Daiso. I really like the black eyelash glue because it makes it not so obvious when you put your eyelash on. Yep. So after you have your wig and glasses on, this is the final look. Um, thank you again for bearing with me because, um, yeah, you guys are amazing. Um, you can follow me on all social media. I, like, there's like so much, I don't know what to say. Um, I guess I'll just say that you're all awesome. Bye, and I love you. Okay, so this is where the end card should be. Um, I'm not well versed at end cards, I guess. All I can really say is thank you for bearing through that tragedy. It was my first makeup tutorial. And if you guys like, uh, want to see more makeup tutorials, please let me know down below and I will try to accommodate. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. You are all amazing and I love you.